Greetings, I am Takar. I'm only here for a brief moment to answer a few questions, but I know that there are some things that are on your mind. So I came through just to answer some questions about the colonies and things of that nature. I know many of you are going through new hybridizations, and some of you are wondering if you're going to the colonies at this time, and you're wondering when the next government meetings are, things of this nature. So I will give you a little bit of overview on that right now. First of all, we did stop some of the uh, colonized visitations for a little while since there was an attempted takeover by the, the Zeta Greys. However, that has been uh, stopped. And now we are just cleaning up after that situation. Only one person was seriously injured, and they are recovering very well. There was actually 17 injuries altogether, but only one was serious. So therefore, it was pretty much a failure for them. Yes, we were prepared in some ways. The Octorians uh, sensed ahead of time with some information from other federations and other uh, species that they were going to try something and so that there was a plan in, fact, in effect for when they came about. So it was foiled very quickly. The other thing is we are going to start bringing back people to the colonies in April. We have not yet started. It will be a few more days. However, the t they will continue to bring people back to the colonies very shortly. Things are almost back to normal. We have been working a lot with the weathers of the U United States right now. Many, many storms, floodings, tornadoes, things of this nature. And it's been very difficult to keep track of all the different people in harm's way. So we've done the best that we can. Instead of trying to lessen the force of the tornadoes and rains and things, we have tried to keep people out of harm's way as much as possible. This is successful in many cases you will notice that there is not as many deaths or injuries as there used to be in the past. For one thing, your technology is greater on how to build homes and things of this nature. But the other thing is we are taking people out of the way. The other thing is we are now... Is there a problem? No, I'm making it easy to read. Ah. For now, we are just getting ready to start bringing people back to the colonies. But first, we must deal with the weather situations and take care of that first. Is there any questions at this time? Yes, I do have a question. Um, this is yes. from Slava. And he says he would like to ask about a dream that he recently okay just a second here he recently remembers like someone was congratulating him with a birthday on March 14th but when he woke up he realized that March 14th was a week ago and that his birthday is in August 16th I thought why do I remember this moment perhaps it's a birthday of a there hybrid was, child yes it was the birth of a hybrid child that's all not a, that's all, but that is what it was. And okay. so he was being coming aware that a hybrid child was born. It was of a Syrian nature, which is very unusual. So it was fourth density. It is doing very well. I do not have much information on that at this time. Um, he would like to know if it was a boy or a girl, or can you tell that much? It was a boy. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, he would please, love to visit. Please he find said, a name for this child so that you can do the ceremonies when the time is right. Okay, he says he would love to visit the children and their parents and to be a part of them if they would wish him to be there. We are going to start doing that service again very shortly. Perfect. Thank you so much. And now, You're Shir, welcome. Many of you visit the nurseries on era 
and in other areas on ships. So therefore, that has been discontinued also in temporarily, but now that will also pick back up. Okay, that's wonderful. The sure. next meeting of the governments is in late July or early August. That's all we know at this time. Thank you. That's great information. And Sheer, Hello. if you're ready. How are you? How am I? I am fine. Um, Thank you. Yes, you will sing. I am doing very well. No one on our ship was harmed. There was an attack on the colony ones, which is one of the colonies that we have here. However, the other colony one around the Asian area, what area was harmed a little more. I see. And is it like um, a cause for a war or something like that? Or no. We would not start a war with the Zeta Greys. They just wanted to stop our progress with humanity, stop ascension, stop us from helping, and they wanted us to listen to their agenda, which is keep everything status quo, which is not what we are doing. We would prefer to keep humanity moving forward so that they can join with the galactic federations sooner than later. I see, but according to galactic laws, is it possible for you to do something in return? Like Yes, it is. They, ha they are being held accountable. Mm -hmm. What actions are going to be taken against them as far as punishment, we do not know. That is between them and the Galactic Council. Okay. Um, I just want to tell you that um, thank you for everything that you do and much love. Much love. And Thank I you. hope to speak with you soon. And just wondering if all the different typerizations that I'm having now, how everything is going okay. Actually, your hybridizations are numerous, and they are working together very well. Um, the one Fendorian hybridization is actually been the strongest, although you may feel the uh, outcome of it the least and th there is a reason for this which I will explain to you in private. I see and did I start the Andromedon? Yes, the Andromedon is now in progress. Okay, thank you and I will speak with you very soon. Much, much, much love. Much love to you as well. Okay, thank you. And now we have, uh, Cre uh, excuse me, yeah, Krellick. Greetings, Krillak. Yes. Um, good, good morning to Kerr. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I have three questions. I will keep it at three. Um, I was. I remember hearing information from Rob Goth here about a canine species in the Pleiadian system trying to connect with humanity. Yes. Well, well what is it? their names? What do they call themselves? Oh, you mean the other civilization? Or they do want to know the name of the canine civilization? I want to know the name of the canine civilization that is in the Pleiades system. Oh, the other canine si system. Yes. One moment, please. They are called Conchel. Conchel. Yes. Is there, well, my second question is um, about, you were, you were talking to me about a portal. Did you, are you able to explain further? Are you able to explain any further on, on, on that? What, I already told you where it was at. What else did you want to know? What's the progress on it? One moment, please. Kishom Wata. Aria Kandia Santu. It is at 30%. Open.
get out on decent. Uh, thank you. And my light. I cannot hear you are breaking up. However, I understand that this vortex is important to you. And it is important to many people in that area. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Um, I wanted to ask, I find that I have an interest in being a defensive person, a person that defends people, someone that deals with security. Is there anything on the ships that deal with that? Of course. Many of our security people were in action just these last few weeks. Yeah, is, there, is there any way that I could maybe learn about, about that next time I come up? Yes, you can learn about many things. I am sure. I do not know their agenda for you when you come to their pl planet. However, I do know that they are anxious to teach you many things. That's uh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Is there other questions? Um, yes, we have Will next. Greetings to Kerr. Much love. Much love to you. So I noticed, I noticed about a week and a half ago, maybe it was longer, I, it's hard to remember, that there was this really major thunderstorm coming through Austin, and I felt the need to send Reiki and the Holy Fire. And then as soon as I started, I sensed you and your ship using the Holy Fire to control the, the weather. So one, if you could talk about that, and then how can other um, energy practitioners volunteer their usage? How can they communicate more with you so they can you can use their energy as well? Whenever there is any event of this nature, and you send your energy to the yeah, event or to or to the ship, it is very helpful and helps with the energy. That is what we have done. We've taken the energy that is being sent to us and we converted it to help with the event. Do you understand? The holy fire is an act of engaging spirituality in helping with the control of natural events. And this works very well. Especially when the belief systems are intact that you are helping and that you are going to make a difference. Does this answer your question? So if anyone wants to be involved, if there is an, a storm system, tornado, anything of this nature, send to us your holy fire energy, your Reiki energy, whatever energies that you possess or can call upon, and we can use that energy in favor of getting results to cure the storm or change its pattern or change the results of what it could happen with this storm. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. Uh, within two minutes of when I started sending, the, the storm dissipated. And yes. I also got messages that there were several people that were really, really helped by by the change. Excellent. This is very true. When a storm of that magnitude dissipates that quickly, many that were in harm's way have been saved. Either they have been saved by their own lives or the destruction of property. Amazing. Thanks for your clarification. Much love. You are welcome. Namaste. Much love to you, Will. Okay, Sarah, you're next. Hello, Takura. Could you hello. speak up a bit, Sarah? I say hello, Takura. Hello, Takura. Yes, thank you. Sarah, yes. it's good to hear you. Good to hear you, too. 
Um, there's an energy that is being quite persistent at the moment, trying to connect with me while I'm watching you guys. <laughs> trying to figure out who is it. One moment, please. Thank you. It is a, it is a past life relative. Is there a name? It is the female. How did you know? Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> the name is Sienna. Sienna. Yes, it may, may not be an Earth past life, but it is a past life relative. Does she have this, a message or something? She wants to contact you for the toning portion. She was also a toner. Nice. Thank you for that. And You're welcome. She was actually a Native American. Okay. And um, there has been another energy around me for the last maybe a week or more. Um, and I haven't really gotten a name from this energy. It just... It's just been around. Is it a heavy energy? No, not too heavy, no. One moment, please. When does it come most often? Because it is not with you at the moment. It usually comes in the morning. Ah, one moment, please. Kanchun Tifian. Feria Fastron Sata. He said to just call him. It is an elemental spirit. Elemental spirit. It is an elemental. Which element? No, it's an elemental like a fairy or a wood sprite. I'm not sure which. But they are wanting to thank you for the work you've done with the earth. And oh. they have other things for you to do. They would like to speak to you about working with certain particular species of trees. Okay, yes. Right. That is what they want to contact you about. Thank you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Right. This is very important to them. Mm -hmm. I do not have a name for this particular elemental, but it is a female. Thank you. I'll pass the mic. Much love. Okay, Carolina, if you're ready. Hello, take care. Greetings, how are you? I'm okay, thank you, I love you. I love you as well. <laughs> take care, um, I just found out that my Yael child was born uh, recently. Um, I'm very happy for that. And um, I was wondering if you could ask my girls to uh, give, him a, give him a name, please. They have given him a name on this side. They prefer that you give a name as well. Oh, right. Uh, can, can you say the name? Oh. Poratan. Pardon? Poratan or Poratan. The way it's Poratan. spelled could be pronounced either way. Poratan. I think it's Poratan. Poratan. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. I, I have. Go ahead. What, what, what's the ne what's the meaning of that name? I will ask the you yield. One moment. I will ask Pen Tim. One moment. Okay. Land to sky. Oh, beautiful! I love that name. I really love it. Excellent. Um, I have another question to ask you. I recently found out that I was connected with the Elohim in with regards to um, helping them with other worlds, Agarthas. Uh, my question is, was that in another past life or is it me doing some astral work at the moment? 
No, it was just in a different timeline. Okay. Um, not in a past life, but in a different timeline that is not exactly, it's parallel to your timeline, but not in this, not within three timelines. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. You're and I'm, I'm happy to, to see you again. I am happy to see you as well. <laughs> okay. I'll pass the mic now. Okay, I have a question from a day, and she would like to know if all the help that we've been giving to Gaia, if it has helped at all, or what is the state of health for Gaia? Absolutely, it is helping. All the energy you can give to Gaia does help. Um, Gaia is still in the state of flux. We predicted that she would be out of this quite a long time ago. However, with all the different things that are happening in the solar system, in the galaxy, and in the universe, there is still some tension on the Earth. And therefore, she is still working to smooth things out. Many changes have already occurred in the energies of the Earth, uh, but there are still more to come. But it is a, it has been a time of great tension for humanity even those that are in very positive realms have been affected in some ways not necessarily negative negatively but have been uh, caused to be brought down for a period of time but it is not without purpose so it has been all right Thank you so much. All right, David, would you like to go? Hello, Takur. Yes. Nice well, to talk to you again. Nice to speak to you as well. I would like to know uh, if you have any recommendations how I could uh, reach more people with my own work, uh, my own channelings, and um, teachings in general here on Earth? Yes. Um, I know that what that you have been pursuing this. Meditation will help you because it does attach to other people. Attach yourself in meditation to those that you would like that have a, a meaning to be with you meaning that your message will touch them. Do a meditation and intention that all the right people come to you and that after they hear this message that they spread it to others. This way your name will become better known and people will tune in. Now the other thing is this. Make sure that you are hooking up through the right connections. Um, if there are those that are very much helping you, make sure that they connect you to the right places so that more people can come to you. Do you understand what I mean? Um, I'm not quite sure um, that you talk about uh, making sure that others uh, connect me to more. How exactly would I go about that? Well, you will get people that will want to help you with what you are doing. Right now, you must connect through Google Hangouts, Hangouts and Skype uh, and different ways of this nature, but there will be others that will help you in the future. <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you. And do some meditations that the right people come along to do that for you. All right, I will. Thank you. Namaste. Okay, is there anyone there with you, Takur, that might have a question? Can we ask? I do not know. Is there okay. anyone in this room that has a question? Behind you? Yes, come closer. You must speak into the mic. Hello, Takur. Hello, how are you? Well, pretty well. Um, I have felt a bit rough this past week and I was curious about maybe any insight into why I've been super, super tired and I'll sleep a full night's sleep, and then I'll end up sleeping two, three more hours in the middle of the day. Perhaps you are traveling in your sleep, going to places that you are visiting, 
trying to find answers for your ailments while you are not awake. Do you, are you aware of any astral travel at this time? Were there any dreams? There was some dreams uh, recently, yeah. Perhaps these are places that you have traveled, and they are trying to give you advice how to become whole. You do have some work to do on that. It is a good thing that you do, though, seeking out the advice of others. This is admirable. Is there any other questions? If not in your room, then Dan has one, please. Very well. Hello, Takur. Yes. Recently, there has been a lot of illness. Uh, Jim has been ill. A lot of people, uh, even myself, experiencing this uh, upper respiratory uh, kind of thing that seems to be going through the uh, spiritual communities uh, the hardest. Um, can you elaborate on any of that? Is there something going on? Is this just a, like a massive attunement that we're all going through at the same time? Some kind of ascension flu, or what can you comment about? No. Mother, I, Mother Gaia Earth is going through many changes. It has disrupted the physiology of many spiritual people because they are not they are paying more attention to the spirit than they are to their own bodies. Therefore, they have been brought down so that they pay attention to the spirit in a different way so that it nourishes the body as well as the spirit. Now, connection and grounding were disrupted and this is part of the reason for this. You see, grounding was more difficult at a certain period between late January and early March. So therefore, some of those that were very spiritually inclined could not ground properly and found it very difficult to stay well. Okay, and all that energy has stabilized since then and we're all doing quite quite better now. Some people are still... It's about 79% stable. There's so, still 21% uh, instability on the earth at this time. Okay, so everybody should be well on the men soon. Nothing to really worry about then. They shouldn't be so alerted or alarmed. It's just... We foresee that by June it should be down to 5%. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you, Takur. We know that you didn't want to uh, stay too awful long. We thank you for all the yes, information. Yes, I must go now because others are necessary. Thank you so much for coming with to be here with us today. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.